Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here. Now tonight I'm going to go over the Outshot 67. Now in a perfect world, I think the majority of us would go Trouble 17, Double 8. Now I'm going to go over, I'm going to go over a few things of what I think about going at the 17. Now in all reality, if we have 67 left, we should be able to at least hit a single 17. And if we do that, that's going to leave us 50. And what I would recommend from 50 is going single 10 and that leaves 40. Sounds simple enough, right? So I want to point out what happens when it's not a perfect world. You know, a lot of us miss. A lot of us aren't professionals. You know, we don't play for thousands of pounds, thousands of dollars every week. So a lot of us miss. You know, we're, we're intermediate players, maybe a little bit better than that sometimes. So when you have 67 left, let me ask you guys a question. What happens when you miss just a hair? So now you got 65 left. Now you have a couple options there. You can go right next door to the 15, and that's going to leave the smallest segment on the board. Now the other option is, right, 67, you start with uh, 67, you hit a 2. So now you're down to 65. The other option is to go for the bullseye. You know, keep in mind another small target on the board. So you're praying to hit the 25 to leave tops. So keep that in mind. And another thing about 67, well, what if you go this way? What if you hit a single three? Well, now you're stuck with 64. Now, if the opponent, we're going to always assume the opponent is on a one dart finish. So, you've had 67 left. You just pulled one over into the three. So, now you've got 64. Pretty much the only reasonable option there is to go at the 14 just to give yourself a shot at the bull. Again, with the bull kind of want to avoid that bull and we seem to be on it a lot if we miss to the left or right. Now I'm going to show you guys just a better way that carries less risk and I want you guys to let me know what you think about it. All right here's 67 again and in a perfect world it'd be great if we could all go trouble nine to leave tops. That'd be great but again a lot of us miss so Let's just pretend, let's take that double out of there. Let's just pretend we had a single nine. And now we have 58 left, which is very simple out. 18 loose tops. I think we can all agree on that one. But here's where 67, you have 67 left, and here where I believe is a better finish. So we're going for the trouble nine. We miss just a hair high into the 12. So now we've got 55 left. Now that's a pretty simple go for the fat 15 to leave tops. And notice we missed with our first target and we didn't have to go at the bull for any reason. Now let's look at this again. Say we go at the triple nine and we miss low. So now we've got, what's that, 53 left. Again, just a big fat single to get us onto a large double. All the time avoiding the bullseye. So if you go, if you have 67 left, and you go at nines, and you miss, which we all do, it carries a lot less risk by going that way. It keeps us off of the small target, whether if it's on a second dart or we're looking at the bolt to finish. So that's just an idea. If uh, you guys have 67 left and the match is on the line, there's a lot of pressure and you feel like you might miss. In my opinion, treble nine is the only way to go with 67 left. And the majority of the pros will go at the treble 17. You know, sometimes there's really nothing wrong with that, but you have to keep in mind you got to know the difference. When the match is on the line, there's a lot of pressure. If you miss into the three or two, man, you're kind of screwing yourself there. You're making things harder than they need to be. You're pretty much forcing yourself 
onto a bullseye finish. Whereas if you go at the nine and you miss high or low, even if you hit a treble 14 or treble 12, you're still going to be on a large, you know, your last dart is still going to be at a large double instead of the bull. And that's the whole idea by going treble nine is to avoid that. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. See ya.